Hello friends, I'm George, the nice melee gentleman. Welcome back to the channel guys, I hope that all of you are doing well. It's time for another mini fragrance haul, just like I did one yesterday. Yesterday I unpacked and tried for the first time three brand new scents from the fragrance from the brand of fragrance world and today it's time for three new scents uh, to explore two of them come from the brand of grandeur lately i've been trying to explore some more stuff from that brand because they seem to be pretty decent especially considering how cheap they are and the third one is from the brand of our Watania. now all three of them are supposedly cloning uh, famous uh, niche and designer fragrances so let's unpack all three of them and let's check out how they actually smell. I'm going to start out with the two grandeur fragrances and the first one that I'm going to check out is called Paradox Gold. And uh, if my suspicions about this one are correct, this will probably end up being inspired by Versace Eros. So let's open this one and see if I'm correct with this, uh, with my assumptions. As usual, if someone is actually interested about the production date of uh, the fragrance itself, this one is, the production date here is December of 2023. The box comes in this, uh, you know, blue and golden color accents. And then this is how the bottle looks. Now, I can't say that it's very similar to the original fragrance, but comes in a similar color scheme. So let's check out the sprayer. And let's see if uh, you know I'm correct when assuming that this will end up smelling like Versace Eros. Sprayer is decent, has a nice burst. Okay, definitely carries uh, a lot of uh, Versace Eros vibes. Although this feels a little bit more fresh in the opening. Definitely some green apple note, definitely a strong mint note in here. Maybe some lemon as well. It's actually quite a bright and uh, fresh opening with a nice amount of vanillic sweetness somewhere in the background. Probably uh, lots of ambroxan as well. Definitely similar to Eros, but again feels a little bit fresher, at least in the opening. Doesn't have so much of that sweetness, at least uh, after the first few seconds. But the more time passes, actually, you're very quickly introduced to some more vanillic sweetness. And uh, you start to get that uh, very famous uh, Versace Eros DNA, you know, that uh, quite sweet, but at the same time, fresh, uh, minty uh, mix of notes. The second Grand Neon fragrance that I'm going to try out in today's video is called L'Ambre Per Homme. And this one comes from the Elite line, which is supposedly a little bit uh, of a, a, you know, higher line of fragrances and this indeed was a little bit more expensive than the first one that I tried and this one is supposedly inspired by Bulgari's Tiger so let's see if that's true. The production date here is February of 2024 and indeed the whole packaging seems to be a little bit more upscale. First of all you have this sort of an uh, you know orange uh, colored uh, sleeve and uh, then you actually get to the box itself let's see how we open this one okay this is how the bottle looks uh, fortunately enough in this case this uh, bears pretty much no resemblance to the original fragrance something that i always appreciate when it comes to middle eastern fragrances when they don't uh, go and straight up copy the bottle design as well let's check out this one sprayer is also good here Let's see how this smells. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Bulgari Tiger. And actually not done very, very nicely. Now, if you are following me, if you have been following me at least for a while, you pretty much know at this point that I absolutely love the, uh, you know, the original scent of Bulgari Tiger. You know, that DNA, I absolutely love that grapefruit based fragrance. Uh, this one though feels a little bit, there's a, a very strong grapefruit note in here, but this feels like it has a little bit more citruses on top of the grapefruit as well. Maybe something like a bergamot, maybe something lemony in here, just a little bit more citrusy, slightly fresher compared to the original DNA. But it, it also has quite a bit of a sweetness uh, in the background right from the first spray, but definitely carries a very strong uh, 
you know, tiger uh, sort of uh, vibes. Very, very nice. Very juicy grapefruit that's accompanied by some uh, the, the nice amount of some other citrusy freshness. Maybe a hint of a ginger note in here. Lots of ambroxan like you get with the, uh, you know, the original fragrance. Some spices. But yeah, very nicely done actually. Uh, like a slightly brighter, slightly fresher take on the original DNA. And I absolutely love the original DNA and I love what the Grandeur have done with uh, their version of it. And let's move on to the third fragrance that I'm going to try out in today's video. That comes from the brand of Alwa Tania and it's called Hayat. Now, if my assumptions and my research about this one is correct, this should smell similar to Killian's Angel Share. So let's see if that's true. This is how the box looks. It comes in this sort of a dark reddish color. The production date here, again, if anyone is interested, is March of uh, 2024. It has this sort of a logo that, at least uh, shape-wise, is uh, something similar to a Ferrari logo. Let's check out the bottle design. This comes in a very interesting looking bottle, looks very, very feminine and absolutely nothing to do with the design of uh, Killian's Angel Share. But let's see if the scent of uh, Hayat actually is close to Angel Share. Let's check out the sprayer. Decent sprayer. Okay. Yeah, well, it is similar to Angel Share, but it's also similar to uh, Latafa Hamra. And in fact, I think it's closer to Hamra than it is to Angel Share. But yeah, this definitely feels closer to Hamra, feels closer to something like Sharaf Blend rather than Angel Share. Maybe there's a hint of uh, a boozy note, but uh, there's more sweetness, uh, you know, compared to Angel Share and thus making it close to Hamra. And the sweetness is slightly different compared to Hamra even as well. This feels a little bit like uh, there's a, a hint of a bubble gummy sweetness along with everything else, you know, the, the vanilla, the praline, the cinnamon, the tonka bean. But yeah, definitely feels closer to, uh, to Hamra rather than Angel Share, but it smells uh, very, very nice actually. So I've given all three scents uh, a, little bit of, a little bit of time to settle down, like 30-35 minutes, just so I can go quickly over the early dry down of each and every one. I'm going to go over them in the same order that I began. And I'm going to start with Paradox Gold and this one being uh, inspired by Versace Eros. And indeed, it is uh, very similar to Eros. In the opening, it felt a little bit fresher, a little bit brighter compared to the opening of Eros. But on the dry down, you know, earlier dry down, the sweetness is starting to take over. And basically here, it smells uh, like Eros. You know, get that vanillic tonka bean sweetness from the original fragrance. Uh, at this point, uh, you know, the scent itself has pretty much lost all of its freshness, almost all of its freshness. And now it's all about the sweetness and this fragrance seems to be very, very similar to Eros. The next one will be uh, again from Grandeur and this one the, from Grandeur Elite and it's called Lambre. And this one is uh, very heavily inspired by Tiger, Bulgari's Tiger and it actually smells very, very nice. I'm really impressed with the way that this smells. Still feels a little bit fresher compared to the original fragrance. On the early dry down lacks a bit of the sweetness that the punch the, the you know the punchy sweetness that i get out of the original fragrance but still smells very very nice and very very similar to uh, to tiger you know on the dry down you're introduced to some more sweetness you're introduced to some of the woody notes uh, the musky notes from the original fragrance and this one carries a very very similar scent and i'm actually really impressed with the scent of uh, Lambre, and then when it comes to the fragrance from Alwatania that's called uh, Hayat, this one I was uh, kind of expecting this one to smell like uh, Angel Share, but it turned out to be actually closer to Latafa Hamra. It felt a little bit different in the opening compared to Hamra. It felt like it has a little bit of a bubble gummy sweetness, but now on the early dry down, it actually starts to become closer and closer to smell closer to uh, Hamra. All three of them are so far have been uh, pretty decent, but if I have to point out one fragrance that stands out, at least in my opinion, 
probably down to the fact that I absolutely love the original DNA that it's been inspired by, it's going to be Lambre Per Homme from the Grandeur Elite line. And so guys, in today's video I unpacked and tried for the first time a total of three scents. Two of them come from the brand of Grandeur, one of them is called Paradox Gold and this one being inspired by Versace Eros. The other one is called Lambre Per Homme and this one comes from their Elite line and this one really really nice and it's been inspired by Bulgari's Tiger and the third fragrance in today's video came from the brand of Albatania and it's called Hayat and this one is inspired by Latafa Hamra. I hope that you found this video interesting, if you did give it a like and I also hope that you're going to join me in the next one and until then stay safe and bye bye.